My name is Chad Charleston and I'm an Associate Product Manager for Klipsch. I'm going to take you through a top to bottom overview of the Jubilee and the incredible components that take Paul Klipsch's final loudspeaker design from a dream to reality. Starting with the high frequency portion, we have an all new K693 compression driver. This is what allows us to essentially bring the Klipsch horn back to a two-way design, which was always Paul Klipsch's dream. This massive compression driver can handle up to 20K Hz while also digging as deep as 300 Hz. This driver features a 7-inch diaphragm with a 5-inch voice coil. The motor structure and magnet on the back of this compression driver is just absolutely colossal for a high-frequency driver. This compression driver is then mated to a monstrous K402 horn that is finished in a non-shine premium automotive sheen finish to give it a smooth and professional look. At 340 Hertz, we then cross over into what I personally consider the most exciting portion of the Jubilee, the low frequency enclosure. This is a patent pending design that is only used by Klipsch. This is a horn loaded vented system that combines the efficiencies of both porting and horn loading a low frequency enclosure. Behind the middle cosmetic panel here, we have two 12 inch fiber composite woofers. Below that, we have three four inch Tractrix flared ports. When using a Tractrix flared port, you get more output before reaching the point of chuffing than when using a traditional straight sided port. We then take this flared port system and place it inside a one dimensional folded horn, which raises the SPL level even more before you reach any sort of chuffing or port noise. We also include an external active crossover with each pair of Jubilees. This is an essential component of the Jubilees. The DSP network adjusts the phase and time delay of each acoustic component to eliminate any phase cancellations that may occur. This active crossover also provides the necessary EQ and gain adjustment to blend the high frequency and low frequency portions of the speaker seamlessly. This crossover can be used in a standalone application as it will come wood matched to the Jubilee finish that you choose. Or this crossover can be used in a rack mount application as well and comes with very sleek contrasting black rack ears. Overall, this is not only a huge achievement for Klipsch, but also for loudspeaker design in general. Paul Klipsch would have been absolutely ecstatic to see that we are still to this day realizing some of his final designs. We do all of this for him and his legacy.